We love The Flash, and you should too. The Flash finally returned last night, and we were introduced to the new villain, Albert Rothstein, also known as Adam Smasher. Funny thing about the Adam Smasher is that he is not actually a supervillain in the comics. He's actually a superhero. He got his metahuman powers from his grandfather, Terry Curtis, who is the supervillain known as Cyclotron. He is also the godson of Al Pratt, who was the Golden Age's Adam. Now, Albert Rothstein started his crime fighting as Nuclon. As Nuclon, he teamed up with the Silver Scarab, Fury, and Northwind, and they all applied to become part of the Justice Society of America. While they were turned down the first time, they weren't going to give up that easy and applied again. But this time, they teamed up with Jenny Lee Hayden and Todd Rice, who both suspected that they were Alan Scott's children, the first superhero to bear the name of Green Lantern. And as it turns out, they actually were related. Unfortunately though, this did not help them get in and they were turned down yet again. Star Spangled Kid felt bad for them and left the JSA to form their own group known as the Infinity Inc. As Infinity Inc, one of their biggest accomplices came when the JSA was turned evil by the stream of ruthlessness thanks to the supervillain known as the Ultra Humanite. The team was able to stop the JSA and defeat the Ultra Humanite and ultimately saving the world. Later on, Albert finally got his dream and was invited to join the JSA. This time, however, he went under a new alias known as Adam Smasher. It was one of the greatest moments in his life because he finally got to uphold the legacy of his godfather, Al Pratt, and he would constantly try to prove himself worthy of his Golden Age idols. Unfortunately though, his mother was killed in a plane crash that was engineered by Cobra. Adam Smasher was so consumed by vengeance that he almost crushed Cobra in his hand. But his teammate Jack Knight convinced him not to do it because he would just be tainting his mother's legacy with Cobra's murder. With the help of Metron, he was actually able to save his mother's life by going back in time and replacing his mother with the villain Extant. Adam Smasher later formed a friendship with Black Adam when Black Adam reformed and joined the JSA. This friendship came about when Adam justified Albert's murderous actions toward Extant. Black Adam even makes the comment that Albert is like a brother he never had. The two of them end up quitting the JSA and help settle each other's personal scores. Black Adam kills Cobra, and Albert kills the president of Kondak, Black Adam's home country. Adam Smasher ends up fighting against his former JSA teammates in Kondak, but decides it's better to form a truce with them. Albert does end up dying in a fight with Spectre, but is revived by Black Adam's lightning and brought back to the JSA. He ends up on trial for his actions in Kondak and pleads guilty to every charge against him. When he was in jail, he is actually approached by Amanda Waller, the founder of the Suicide Squad, and during the 52 event, we see him assembling a new Suicide Squad under her orders to fight Black Adam. They succeed, however, at a very great cost, mainly the downfall of the whole Black Marvel family and the murderous rampage of Black Adam that we know as World War III. Albert sides with the Justice Society to try and apprehend Black Adam, but does not believe he is guilty of the genocide he caused in Bialya. He ends up saving Black Adam after he is robbed of his powers and about to plunge to his death. This fact is kept a secret, however, because no one actually saw him do it. He finally rejoins the JSA during the Black Adam and Isis story arc, where he asks for a second chance at honoring the memory of his godfather, Al Pratt. After this arc, he is readmitted as a full member of the JSA, but we don't see him again until the JSA All-Star storyline, where he is a victim of a kidnapping. Now, Atom Smasher has the power of atomic dispersal, which allows him to grow up to 28 feet tall. He is resistant to all attacks from normal-sized people, and he also has the ability to increase his mass, as well as his atomic dispersal, giving him superhuman strength in the process. He's also a skilled pilot and was seen piloting the JSA's jet, as well as being the primary pilot for Infinity Inc. So with Albert Rothstein, Adam Smasher starting out as a villain on the Flash TV show, does this mean we'll see him reform? My theories are that since he is a superhero in the comics, he will end up joining the Flash, especially if they make the JSA a part of the show. Also, with him having such a history with Black Adam, does that mean that we're gonna see Black Adam in the show as well? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Dan with CTV, and I will see you guys next time.